ignorance will never see No, wasn't it for me? for flashing you but I am sweating like a little pig. Uh, welcome back to another vlog. It's been a while since I did one the last time. God I look really smashed right now. One big tomato face. Anyway uh, I am getting a tattoo today or well maybe I am because I think we might have uh, mixed up the dates. I thought it was today and then I got a text message with a reminder that says the 18th of May, which is not before another week, which is just so annoying because I've been looking forward to getting this tattoo for several for several weeks now. Um, and the annoying thing is that they don't open until 11 where I have that scheduled appointment. So we're gonna have to drive all the way up there and see if we mixed up the dates, if I am getting the tattoo today. And if I'm not, then we're gonna have to see if I can maybe get an appointment today anyway, or else we're gonna have to reschedule it, which I really don't hope because like I said, I've been looking forward to getting that tattoo so much. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Right now I am gonna hop into the shower because we're gonna have to take off in 45 minutes. So I'm gonna make this quick. I just wanted to briefly tell you about um, how I deal with my hair when I work out. As you know, I work out about three times a week, depending on how busy I am. This week it's been the first time that I've been working out and it's Friday today, but I've just been so busy. So it's keeping a balance all the time. I'm so sorry. I am um, just beat right now. I can't speak. Uh, but normally what I do, I just bring my hair back like this. And then when I get into the shower, I just uh, clean these very wet parts with a bit of water, no shampoo or anything. And then when I get out of the shower, I just quickly dry it with my blow dryer. So I don't wash it each day. I wash it maybe two to three times each week. And I know that's probably disgusting for some people, but my hair looks great. And yeah, it's not really good for your hair to wash it too often, is it? So yeah, that's how I do that. And then I usually pop in some dry shampoo and as you guys know, I use my homemade dry shampoo, which is just cornstarch basically. So that works just as well, but without any nasty chemicals, plus it's really cheap as well. So I'm gonna hop into the shower very quickly, do my hair, makeup, and then I'm gonna show you today's outfit and I'm just gonna catch my breath. Whew. So I think we are ready to take off. Here is today's outfit. It's gonna be a very beautiful sunny day Hi. Hi. in Denmark. So I've had to whip out a pair of shorts. These are actually uh, secondhand, I think from H&M. Originally a pair of tailored trousers that I've just turned into shorts. I wore these all the time last year as well and uh, definitely gonna make them part of my summer capsule. Then I'm wearing necklace from Misoma and this horn necklace from Etsy. Ray-Bans, old H&M cotton shirt, and then these old sliders as well. I bought these on ASOS. Uh, I think they're from Boohoo, maybe? Not the best quality, I remember them. A major color transfer, so for weeks I just had black feet. So can't really recommend these shoes, but I know that Everlane makes very similar ones. Hi. <laughs> Hi, little scared. 
Oh, little teddy bear. Yeah, so I think we're gonna take off now. And yeah, the reason why, if my appointment at the tattoo place isn't before next Friday, I can't go because I'm traveling next week, which you might remember me talking about in my previous random rambles. I'm traveling to France with work next week. I'm gonna be away from Tuesday until Saturday. So I really hope that we can do something because yeah, we were both so sure that it was today and she like showed us the appointment on the screen. So I don't know why we haven't given that any thought. But yeah, I've really been looking forward to flashing my new tattoos in France. But uh, yeah, anyway, we're driving off to see what we can do. Got my water bottle here with fresh slices of lemon and uh, yeah, we're gonna go. I think we're just gonna stop by the bakery real quick because I haven't had anything else but a smoothie and I am getting pretty hungry. Hangry. Right, hangry. Hang hangry. Hangover, hungry or angry? No, no. Angry and hungry. Oh, yeah, hangry, yeah. Got ourselves a little rye sandwich right here, so that's the healthy part and then, of course, I can't go to the local bakery without buying just something a little bit more unhealthy. Moin! Okay, so the appointment was next Friday. So they didn't have any time today, but I have rescheduled for Monday. So yeah, I'm sorry I can't bring you guys along with me, but I'm gonna make sure to put up some things on my Instagram instead. So now we're just gonna hang out here for a bit and then we're gonna just quickly buy some dog food before going home and then the rest of the weekend we're actually gonna get uh, Morten's brother and wife and their two kids visiting so yeah that's a plan for the rest of the day I'm not gonna be there for you oh, cause you will never never be but there's always room for a cookie. So on Monday after getting my tattoo done, I can go right down here and get it removed. Så kan vi komme på cykelferie med Wuffron. Den der er fin. Skal være den der lige nu. Nå, vi skal finde noget mad til hunden faktisk. Hvor du gør det? I have to pee. Er du kendt? Hej. Hvad er det? That's not dog food. Focus, Hansen. Focus.
accidentally ended up in a kitchen store. Nice. country, modern country, This is what I'm talking about. Be right back. You gotta listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can get from you Boy, I don't need that much, need that much How can I tell you what I want now? So while we're driving anyway, let me just show you what I am thinking about getting done Which is this cute flower right here, just very simple, very feminine And yeah, don't mind the heart over here because that's just something that I was thinking about getting here on my wrist so yeah we'll see if we can do that at the same time but this one is gonna be on my right uh, underarm on the outer side or outer part of my arm if that makes sense and uh, I've actually drawn this myself in Illustrator I found a lot of pictures on Pinterest <clears throat> and instead of going down there and asking for something completely the same as someone else's uh, tattoo. I thought it was cooler to kind of uh, take the elements that I liked from all of the tattoos that I've already found and then make my own. And I really like how this turned out. So I think it's gonna be really great. Love how simple it is. Not really sure how big it's gonna be yet because it's very thin and very delicate. So obviously they can't make it too small because then all the colors will kind of smudge together and you won't be able to see what it is. <laughs> Just gonna show you something in the garden because these two trees are my absolute favorite thing in the entire garden because they they only bloom during spring and it's very short but the smell is just amazing. I don't know what they're called in English but look how pretty. We have this white one and then we have a purple one over here. Getting too close to fly in these shorts. I mean, do you guys have that one pair of pants or jeans or shorts yourself? Every freaking time. Hi. Packed. All right, guys. So, just had a bite to eat. Mm. Feel like I have not rye bread all over my teeth. <laughs> um, I think I'm just gonna wrap up this vlog right here actually because it is almost three o'clock and Morten's family is arriving soon and to be honest I actually don't want to be filming a lot while they're here. I kind of need to unplug a bit before leaving for France with work next week. Um, like I said in my random rambles, I'm kind of anxious about having to travel down there alone. Um, but I feel much better for having received all those nice comments from you guys. You were all really calming and empowering and that's really nice. So thank you so much for that. And it's awesome to read about your um, experience with traveling alone as well. That made me a lot calmer. So mostly looking forward to that trip and I'm looking forward to feeling more confident in doing something like that by myself because I know I can do it. I just need to kind of step over that boundary. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog right here. Enjoy the rest of the day, have a cup of coffee out on the lounge and just get some sun. 
and then we're gonna hang out with Morten's family. We're gonna have a barbecue in the garden and then I think tonight maybe just have a glass of wine and just talk. We haven't seen them since Christmas because they live in Copenhagen, which is a two and a half hour drive away from here. So um, try to see each other a little bit more often, but sometimes, you know, time just flies. So cliche, but it just does. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. I've said that a thousand times. Now I'm really gonna go. I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys. Oh, I'm going to see you. 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 I'm going to see you.